Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 10th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on the sun. Fairly quiet, no major flares or CMEs to talk about that are coming our way, but we are seeing two Earth-facing sunspots right now that could have some potential for some development. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming and cresting right now, left-hand side is a pretty sizable and organized sunspot region, and as well cresting in on the right-hand side, some more stable activity looking at the last 48 hours outgoing little earth to scale showing there right hand side some pretty large plasma filaments erecting from pretty much the opposite meaning the the antipode of we had that where we had the large plasma filament a couple days ago looking here at the fiery region multi-spectrum showing the last 48 hours of events pointing out the two sunspot regions and as well the third sunspot region in the northern hemisphere. Right there, cresting in. Large plasma filaments stretching across the surface and as well turning away coronal holes. So we are still being by we still being affected by a coronal hole wind stream. And as well, CME from the other day, looking at another light here, showing those sunspot regions in action. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range as the geomagnetic activity remains slightly elevated down a little bit from the KP6 the other day. Looking at a real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 590 kilometers per second after being jacked up to about 610, possibly 660 kilometers per second yesterday with all of this activity and right here showing the last few hours of solar winds this is our magnetosphere being affected of course by the solar winds but watching the last couple frames get a little bit of a backdraft sometimes it does happen right there looking at the pressure planes from the solar winds as it has been up and over 500 kilometers per second for the past 48 hours now. And the earthquakes have been sitting at about 280 in the past 24 hours, so that is slightly up a bit. But large earthquakes seem seldom right now to none. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 31. Healthy pulsing resonance with the daily activities from our sun, amplitude of 31, quality of 8.9, and a power of 18. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours, as it does look pretty low on the map, but there are a lot of earthquakes being reported in Puerto Rico, and as well through Alaska. We're going to start out here with the active Japan, 5.1, 4.8, and a 4.5 today. Makubetsu, Japan, seeing some earthquakes on northern Japan Island as well, one through the Marianas Trench. And then the deepest earthquake today was a 4.8 in Havaluloto, Tonga, 543 kilometer depth. Activity continuing through Pahala, Hawaii, 3.5, the largest today, and Alaska seeing a lot of minor rumbles. And as well up into the Pacific Northwest, scattered minor earthquakes today, 3.6 here in Primo Tapia, Mexico border with California, as well White City, New Mexico, still seeing a minor swarm. And then we get to the Caribbean plate, where we're seeing many minor earthquakes still off the southern shore of Puerto Rico. And then let's get to South America, as it's been pretty busy the last 48 hours. We're going to ring in from yesterday as well as this is the largest earthquake to report, a 5.7 in Asan, Chile, as well Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands, seeing some earthquakes today, but nothing major. Northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 4.4 there, still a very active and eruptive 
Fegerada's Folly in Iceland. And that's the last 24 hours around the world, brought to you by Walton 3D. Let's have a quick browse at the last seven days. As we haven't seen a 6.0 or greater in the past seven days, 5.8 and lower have been the major earthquakes to report. So pretty quiet, and we've had quite a few deep earthquakes this week. So expecting something larger, shallower, doesn't always happen, but you can always be aware and prepared of the possible imminency. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well the most recent volcanoes getting reported. There's 150 active hazards on this app right now. Many floods throughout the United States. We've got Nevada's to Chilean in Colombia. We've got ERA in Japan erupting. Popocatetl, very active today in Mexico. And there are Sabincaya in Peru, Swiss and Ajima in Japan. Landslides, floods, fires, extreme heat, and stormy conditions all being reported here. Pacific Disaster Center, 150 active hazards right now. Looking at satellite imagery, we do have one tropical storm to talk about. Tropical Storm Howard is still alive and heading out into the open uh, East Pacific. Overlooking the Pacific Ocean right now, no major typhoons forming in the long range nor on satellite imagery here, but a pretty large system over Russia and parts of northern China, China right now. And in the long-range forecast, that's going to flip-flop over to the southern hemisphere. Stay tuned, that's coming right up. Quick look, satellite imagery, long line of moisture stretching across the Atlantic as well. Looking at weather here for the next few days, daily evaporation rains through Mexico and up into western United States. No major systems coming into play until Monday or Tuesday next week. So dry and warm. But we, this is going to be quite a system coming up the seaboard. Eastern United States and then into the Atlantic provinces. No major hurricanes developing in the long range. But something I wanted to note here is some massive systems that are forming in the southern hemisphere. That's right, those are two very large low-pressure systems, and there's another one forming in behind it. So heads up, whatever happens in the north then happens in the south, and then vice versa, action for reaction, and reaction from an action. It is what it is, and this is the planet that we live on, and I'm grateful for every day that we do. I thank everyone for tuning in, as well subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. I'll be doing my best here to keep you up to date with daily updates some major systems developing in the southern hemisphere so heads up especially for parts of tasmania in the long range you could see quite a system affecting you at first western australia and then down into there monsoon rains continue but watch for a possible tropical system developing in the indian ocean affecting india as it races straight across the country Looking at that system coming up right here. All of this forecast brought to you by Windy.com. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Much love and prayers for humanity. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.